Hey guys, I ran into a problem with my uh, computer the other day, and that is, uh, started growling and making all kinds of weird noise. Um, I've never had a laptop fan go out on me, never. But apparently I have one this time. So, right now it's nice and quiet and everything's great, but watch what happens when I move my uh, computer. Well, now it doesn't do it. I don't know if you can hear that or even if you can hear it hear that let me put it let me put the phone down on the computer itself I think you can probably hear that one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and shut the computer down and I'm gonna show you how to change the fan out and I went on eBay and I bought one uh, with shipping, it was, I don't know, about seven or eight bucks, something like that. And they're easy, extremely easy to change. So let's go ahead and get to it. First thing you got to do is shut your computer down. So let's go over here and shut it off. Well, you guys know how to shut off a computer. So let's get it shut off, turned over, and get the back open and show you how to do that. All right, we got the computer shut down. So what we're going to have to do is you disconnect the power. Disconnect any char charging cables or anything you have associated with it. Go ahead and close it, and then we're going to turn it over. All right, put something on the table for uh, your computer top so you don't scratch it all up. You don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, get this laptop on the table. All right, you want to have the laptop with the battery towards you, so take the battery out. Oops. Come on, guys. There we go. Then you want to take, uh, I think it's three screws out. I'm going to take this one here. You'll need a number one Phillips. I just use uh, one that uh, little Radio Shack thing. I don't think they even sell these anymore. This particular screwdriver set. Uh, pop this back cover off it's pretty easy Just get your finger up underneath it and lift it up well it's a little hard one-handed oh here we go there you go just pop it up like that set it aside somewhere then you have to take uh, this cord off here just pull it up take this screw out Set it off to the side. Now remember what screws you pull out of here too, because they're they're different kinds. Okay, there we go. Now you'll notice that there's a screw hole right there, but there's no screw in it. Well, that's because that one is the one that uh, the cover goes to. So then what you do is you take this and you pick it up like this. That's pretty much it. Now's a good time to clean that out. I just did it like last week. <laughs> kind of surprised me I, I was working on it and it just started howling I was like are you kidding me so all right then grab your new fan set it next to your old one and you can see that there's like a little shock mount right there and there's a little piece of tape that covers up uh, this side vent over here so carefully remove these two items and put them on your new fan and then put it in there uh, before you do that though make sure that the fan does fit this one is for this model but uh, apparently they messed up on the trimming over here and I had to go actually take a little bit off of here otherwise it wasn't gonna fit on there I was like are you yeah it's like wow but that's okay it, for me that's just simple stuff I just put it on the grinder while I was holding the fan so it didn't vibrate and then cleaned out any metal shavings in there and then deburred it so it'll be fine for me but Hopefully you guys won't have that problem if you do it, but I guess that's the uh, price for buying a, a $6 fan vice, probably a, a $25 or a $30 one from a name brand one, but that's small potatoes for me. 
So anyways, uh, let's get these two things transferred over. All right, to get this one off, I just stuck my fingernail on there and got it up underneath the tape and just gently, and I mean ever so gently, uh, moved it so that, so that I could get it off of there. So now that's stuck on there, so let's go get the tape. And basically I just, just gently, gently peel it back. So I'm not going to make you guys watch this whole thing. I'll, I'll get it off there and then show it to you. All right, I got it peeled and uh, stuck on there. So let's go ahead and put it in there. Uh, the, the fan side goes up. Of course, it'll only go in one way. So there you go. Now this um, actually goes on top right here. And then you might want to slide this down to where it touches that metal. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Boy, that sucker did not want to go down there at all. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, get the screws in there. So let's go ahead and uh, get these screws in here. Don't tighten them down. Just put them down like that so they're loose. Alright, let's get the other one in there. See if we can't get this darn thing to focus. Come on, there we go. Now once you get this one in, then you can go ahead and tighten them both down. And make sure this isn't caught up underneath it. You don't want it to pinch and short out your uh, power supply for your fan. All right, now we got that. Oh, and this thing was really hard to move. I kind of had to like keep running my fingernails over it. All right, and then you go ahead and connect this up. Okay, the little uh, tab portion goes towards that slot there. Then you just, oh, it does not want to go down. There it goes, okay. Then you just push this down here like this. There we go. All right, all you have to do is get the back cover. Oh, sorry about the focus there. Take the back cover and stick it on. And this side's got like a little catch that you're going to want to... See that little catch right there? You want to put that up in there. Snap that down. Snap all this down. And then go ahead and put your screws back in. I actually think in the uh, fan cleaning video, I said uh, to take this one out. Actually, you don't. That's that's one for the keyboard. See the little keyboard symbol, symbol, and over here too. So it's only three, and I thought it was four. So for you guys that took out the extra screw, I'm sorry <laughs> if you cleaned your fan. All right, there we go. All right, and you just drop your battery back in. All right, and your battery's got these little slots right here. Those slots uh, go in the thing. They go on those little pins down there. And then you snap it like that. And if you want to lock it, you can lock it so it doesn't accidentally come out, which I doubt will happen. All right, now you can just go ahead and turn your computer over and turn it on. All right, I got it plugged in, so let's get it open here. Wow, strong, uh, strong hinges. And let's fire it up. Yep, I feel air coming out. So let's fire it up and make sure it doesn't make any more noise. All right. Nope, no more noise. So that's how you change the fan in uh, one of these MSI computers or laptops. So far, so good. Uh, let's see if the fan control actually works. Yep, I hear the fan speeding up. And I can feel a difference, too. Turn it off. Yep, that's working. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching the video on how to change your fan in your little uh, MSI computer here. Your laptop. So, y'all have a good one. God bless you, and keep none you out.
拜。